Hey guys, welcome back to part 2 of AVS customization. If you've missed part 1, check below in the description or the upper right pop-up in the video. It's Maria and let's start! I am removing the tail by cutting off this plastic piece. Inside it's tied with a rubber band and no glue, so it's pretty easy. When I bought her, I imagined her right away as a fairy tale though. And why not? So I'm making again from polymer clay a new little doe tail. In part 1 we removed her ears. I'm making her new ones again with clay by starting off with a leaf shape and thinning the ends. If I feel like they should be thinner, I can just sand them after I bake them. After baking and after they cool down from the oven, I'm airbrushing them to create a color blend similar to her hair. Next, I'm using pearl paint to give them soft satin shine. To achieve an even blend, I'm applying it with a cosmetic sponge. They're sealed and ready. I imagined her with big antlers and it fits with the fantasy theme. I kept them also white to match with the hair. I'm using again pearl paint so they fit together with the ears. Well, they're mostly ready. Let's go ahead and place them. I left space for them while rerouting and I'm just clipping the hair away. I am using the wire for extra support because they're quite big and I'm bending it inside. I am also using plastic safe permanent glue for even better hold. To add some details to the antlers later, next I made some miniature orchids. And miniature butterflies. We will add all these later because I will cover the antlers for the repaint. Alright, let's repaint! After I blushed her face, I chose white and blue for her lips, which I will slowly build up. I am using white pencil to draw the sclera. Pastels and shimmer to slightly blend with her hairline. And blue, purple and pink on her cheeks. I made her eyes slightly smaller than her mold. I am working with similar colors like on her cheeks, but brighter tones so they stand out. I am making her eyebrows again to match with her hair, but this time also with the underline of her eyes. I'm playing again with the same colors to make her eyelashes and blending them together. This time I made the tiny light reflections tinier, <laughs> you will see why later. Next I'm just making the lips brighter, I want them whiter on the sides. And I'm using satin white shimmer around her eyes. I am adding glitter on her cheeks to create like tiny stars. After sealing, I'm adding larger pieces. Okay, I made the lights tinier so I can use pink glitter to add some extra sparkle. And of course eyelashes, but I've also added white ones. Let's continue with the body paint. I pictured her hooves white and I'm airbrushing them to make the color look natural.
and I'm also painting her tail and her back. Next I'm using shimmer to match with her antlers and to give that soft sparkle effect. You can see that I've wrapped her good. I'm using round plastic piece under the sticky foil so it doesn't touch her face. I am also adding shimmer on her back, on different places to look like stardust. I am adding tiny dots for stars with acrylic paint. After this I'm dusting glitter over and sealing it. I am gluing the tail again with plastic safe permanent glue. Then after it dries I am adding some bigger pieces of glitter. Also on the legs. I am applying a bit of paint under her hooves, so it doesn't look unfinished. Let's move on to her upper body. I'm using pearl paint and glitter while it's still wet, so it doesn't all fall off before I seal it. And I'm doing the same with her hands. To look more fairy tale like I've baked and painted two pieces of clay and I'm just gluing them. I also left space for her ears while rerouting. Next I'm just gluing the orchids where I think it will look good. Alright, now it's left the butterflies. My hands were a bit shaky here. They are quite durable, but they're so thin and I had them flying away on me quite often. Okay, because I want her to have that fairy tale look, I didn't want just to leave the hair as it is. And I thought, why not braids? It will be cool. I honestly didn't have any plan at all how to braid it. I just took a strand of hair and tried to imagine how it will look on her. After I finished braiding her hair, I'm gluing butterflies with water-soluble glue. Alright, let's check before and after. I hope you had lots of fun guys and if you did like always smash that like button and also share it helps me a lot and if you're new here and had fun too make sure to subscribe for more thank you so much for watching and see you next time <laughs>